So we have a function of u, u of x and t at a particular t as a function of x. We are going to discretize the domain into x0, x1, etc. to xn. So these are a bunch of grid points monotonically increasing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to only remember ui, which is defined as u at a particular xi. And ui is a function of t only, and u is a function of x and t. So now we can see that the time derivative of ui is what? Well, because ui is just a function of t, I should write it as dui dt is equal to partial u of x i t partial t. Right? So if we can derive dui dt as an algebraic function of ui and probably other uis, we get an ODE. We get a system of ODEs, a coupled system of ODEs, and that we can solve. Okay, so let's continue the derivation by the PDE. This is equal to kappa times the second order derivative of u at this xi and t. So the question is now what? How do we approximate this as a function of ui, probably ui minus 1, ui plus 1, and etc. Right? How do we write this as a function of these u's? So here, the second order derivative has a very nice approximation. This is because a second order derivative is the first order derivative of the first order derivative. And the first order derivative on this function is the slope. And if we discretize this solution on these grid points, remember these circles we saw on the computer, we have the slopes, not on, we don't have the slope on the grid points, but we have the average slope in between the grid points, right? We basically, we can link we can link any of these two circles, and we get the average slope. And now, this average slope approximates the first order derivative. So taking the difference between the nearest average slopes, we can hope to approximate the second order derivative. So let's write down the approximation. So the approximation can be written as the difference between the nearest slopes divided by the difference between the location of these, these nearest slopes. So the nearest slope can be written as ui plus 1 minus ui divided by delta x. So delta x is the spacing between all the uniform grid points. They are uniform. In the simplest case, for finite difference, we use uniform grid points. And this is the slope. Let's say this is the ith grid point. This is the i plus 1, and this is i minus 1 grid point. And now what we have written down is this slope. And we also need to minus ui minus ui minus 1 divided by delta x. So that's that slope. We divide that by the spacing between these two slopes, which is again delta x. And we collect the terms. What we get is ui plus 1 plus ui minus 1 minus 2 times ui divided by delta x squared. That is 
a standard way to approximate the second order derivative using finite difference. Now with that approximation, we get this being left hand side and this being right hand side. That's an ODE we can solve. We get DUI dt equal to kappa times ui plus 1 plus ui minus 1 minus 2 ui divided by delta x. And that is true for, oops, happened. And that is true for i equal to 1, 2, 3, to n minus 1. And on the, on the two sides, we have boundary conditions, which we'll talk later. The simplest type of boundary condition is u0, which is u at the left-hand side of the domain, has to equal to a specific value at the left. And un, which is the value at the right end of the domain, is equal to a different specific number 